this video will focus on some of the basics of suture cutting and removing sutures. So I've left two of our sutures here longer to kind of give you an example of how I approach cutting sutures. So say your surgeon is across the table from you and asks you to cut a suture. Um, your suture scissors, which we've gone over before, you've got one small tine and one large tine. Usually I have my, my ring finger and my thumb in those, in those eyelets. Um, it's important not to cut the suture with a large amount of time through the suture. You never know what kind of anatomy or other sutures are going to be on the other side of this, the suture that you're cutting that you could compromise. So you're really wanting to cut with the tips of the suture. Um, and you can either go straight down to the knot and cut on the knot. For these longer sutures, you're kind of leaving that tail. So flipping the suture around so you can see exactly how long of tail you're cutting. Um, and it's really just a very fine, a fine movement. Um, you're, again, you're not cutting deep into the crotch of that scissors. You're gonna be cutting down to the knot and kind of backing away as, as far as you want and cutting just at, just at that mark. Usually the surgeon will say, leave four millimeter tails, we'll leave one centimeter tails or longer if necessary. Um, but then another lesson in removing sutures. So typically we're going to use an Adson and a suture scissors to remove scissors. You might use an iris scissors if they're very fine sutures. But usually what I'll do is I'll pull up on the knot of the suture, which kind of gives you a little space between the skin edge and the, and the knot. Um, I'll insert the tiny, the small end of the suture scissors just underneath there and cut pretty close to the knot so that when you pull it out, you're pulling the suture in one motion instead of having to search for part of the suture that's buried underneath the skin. And again, pulling the knot away from the skin, inserting the small end, the small tine of the suture scissors and cutting that way. This is a skill very basic, but um, certainly most, most patients are gonna be nervous about suture removal when it really is um, usually a fairly efficient and painless process. Um, sometimes you'll find that the sutures are going to be buried. That's when it's important to give that tension so you can sneak that tine underneath here. Uh, the iris scissors or curved iris scissors may have a finer, finer tine of the, of the scissors that will give you a little bit more um, fine, fine motion to get underneath that knot as well.